trees and hopping big logs at an angle are great ways to get over oblique logs without losing speed. Logs at an angle can be very tricky, even for top riders like Tim Coleman, if the log is wet and at an extreme angle. For us normal riders, they can simply be a pain in the ass. We have already covered the basics of crossing small logs at an angle in this existing training vid on YouTube. You first need to master the bunny hop, a very useful skill for not only logs at an angle, but jumping over gaps and other obstacles too. We've covered this in our How to Jump Gaps. Remember, the bunny hop and log grind are the fast ways to get over logs at an angle. The pivot turn technique is usually safer if you aren't in a hurry. And as Reuben Chadwick shows, you can use it to get over some quite large logs too. So typically you'd want to uh, ride over a log just straight across it, but uh, sometimes you're forced to go across it on a bit of an angle. Uh, so when I'm doing that, I always try and just keep the bike as light as possible and just almost trying to bunny hop it and skim over the log. The bunny hop is simply a normal wheelie, but cutting the throttle and de-weighting the pegs to make the rear of the bike very light. You can see here there is no weight on the foot pegs at all. This allows the rear wheel to roll over instead of sliding along the log. And make sure you cut that throttle. If you keep the power on, the rear wheel will definitely spin, then slide along the log. If and when the rear wheel does slide, let the bike move. Don't try to control it too much. You can lean your body and let momentum pull the bike over. When hitting a log on the angle, the best thing is to try and avoid hitting the skid plate because uh, the less you contact it, the less likely you are to get spun off in the wrong direction. Make sure your front wheel either clears or just lightly touches the log. Hitting it can make the front wheel slide along and ensure a crash. Enough with the Gumby Rider, let's see how a top rider uses the bunny hop. Reuben Chadwick is tackling a much larger obstacle here and also at a more severe angle. And now, here's Reuben with the log grind. The log grind is, uh, yeah, it's more of just a show-off trick that I do. As Ruben says, the log grind is more of a trick than a practical technique. There's a fair bit of risk involved, so only very experienced, highly skilled riders should attempt this. With the grind, you're pretty much trying to get your bash plate to slide along the log as long as possible. So when I'm doing the grind, I tend to hit this little knot here, but uh, you pretty much can just let out the clutch and the rear wheel will grip up and just pull you over. You still cut the throttle after the wheelie, but instead of de-weighting the rear, you intentionally hit the skid plate and slide. Lean in toward the log to reduce the risk of high siding. Keep your body position centered, relax your legs, and let the bike's rear swing around. As long as you have enough momentum, the rear wheel will stop sliding and just roll over. This is a risky technique. Always make sure there are no rocks or other nasties to fall onto. 